Good morning. It's time now for Business Spotlight, brought to you by Morris Hospital and Healthcare Centers. I'm Leanne Oliver, and today our guest is Dr. Nuzat Chalisa. She's here to talk with us this morning about endocrinology and prediabetes. Good morning, Dr. Chalisa. Good morning. How are you today? I'm doing good. Well, great. Tell me exactly what does endocrinology mean, and uh, what are the what. What does it go into? What does it entail? So endocrinologist treats patients who suffer from hormonal imbalance. So typically resulting from disorders of endocrine glands. Um, and our goal is to restore the hormonal imbalance to normal. So we treat a wide variety of conditions, including um, diabetes, um, adrenal and thyroid disorders, pituitary, osteoporosis, menopausal disorders, hypogonadal disorders, pre-diabetes. So a lot of, uh, all, almost all these, all of these disorders involve some sort of hormonal problem. And and uh, when you're talking about the thyroid and the adrenals and everything, that, that's really what keeps everything going and working properly Absolutely. in the body. They play an important role in the metabolism. Now, pre-diabetes, why is that so important for someone um, to be concerned about? So, Pre-diabetes means your sugar level is at a higher level than normal, but it's not quite high enough uh, to be classified as type 2 diabetes. And um, I consider this as an opportunity, a window of opportunity to improve your health. Um, It's important to take it seriously because if there is no without intervention, it is very likely to get converted into diabetes in the next 5 to 10 years. Um, Also, some of the complications that you get with diabetes, like cardiovascular complications, retinopathy, they tend to occur early on, even in pre-diabetic stage. And so with intervention, you can actually de- prevent these complications from happening. How common is this in, in people? Uh- Pre-diabetes is like an epidemic. Uh, based on some CDC estimates, one in three people in the United States have pre-diabetes. And uh, to give you some numbers, based on um, 2014 estimates, uh, there is 89 million people in the U.S. with pre-diabetes. Wow. Uh, that number is uh, probably going to be 100 million this year. And every year a million of these pre-diabetics get converted into diabetics. Now is, is some of that connected to our diets and our lifestyles that we have? Uh, definitely. Lifestyle has a big role uh, in development of pre-diabetics. So it's genetics and it's lifestyle. Genetics we cannot change but lifestyle we can definitely um, change. Well what should, um, what, what should a person do um, if they're found to have pre-diabetes? Um, I think once you find find out you have prediabetes, you should consider it as an opportunity to improve your health. Good news is prediabetes is reversible, diabetes is not. So with changes in your lifestyle, with healthy eating, um, increasing your physical activity, if you're overweight, losing some weight, uh, can definitely reverse prediabetes and prevent diabetes. What are some of the symptoms? Unfortunately, there are no classic symptoms for prediabetes um, or even for diabetes, and that is why a lot of people are diabetics and they don't even know because you don't get symptoms till diabetes gets worse. Um, Some of the signs that can be red flags could be if you feel um, fatigue after meals, if you have cravings for carbs and sugars, if you have excess abdominal fat. uh, Those are some of the signs that you should think about prediabetes. Um, There is also something uh, called acanthosis nigricans, which is a darkening of the skin in certain areas of your body, such as neck, knees, elbows. Um, that's another sign that can occur early on and can be a red flag for so diabetes. So people really, really need to um, know their bodies well. Absolutely. And, um, now, as far as, as um, because the thyroid, the adrenals, all of these other things are, are going, they're all involved with all of this. Um, and, and diabetes is, is so prevalent. Um, if someone had a thyroid problem or an adrenal problem, but they're borderline on everything and their tests are always coming back, everything's okay. How, how do you kickstart all of those, you know, if, if you've got adrenal fatigue or if, if your thyroid is... A may, lot of these, a lot of these hormonal problems are um, 
are connected with each other. Sometimes the symptoms can be overlapping and it can be mistaken. So, for example, if you think some of your symptoms are because of thyroid, it could be um, due to an adrenal disorder. It could be due to diabetes. So when patients come to us, we do we try to uh, do a complete evaluation looking into different possibilities of why they could be having those symptoms beyond uh, thinking beyond that particular diagnosis which the patient thinks. And a lot of times we are able to help them, uh, you know, figuring out exactly what's going on. Now, doctors refer patients to an endocrinologist when they think that there are some serious problems going on. Mm -hmm. if, if they think that maybe they're having uh, diabetic problems or thyroid or adrenal problems. Sure. Um, if, if, a, if a person um, has been to their doctor but their doctor really hasn't discussed anything like that with them, can they just call your office? Absolutely, they can uh, definitely call our office and um, if you if they can see themselves of having any of the risk factors which could be um, having just, just being overweight or obese or having a sedentary lifestyle, if they belong to a high risk ethnicity such as Hispanics, African Americans, um, Asian Americans, if they have had a gestational diabetes or polycystic ovary syndrome, those are all risk factors. So even if they have risk factors and they think they should be screened, they can definitely call our office and, um, you know, we can definitely help them. Now, your office is in Shanahan, correct? Yes, correct. Um, and if someone wanted to uh, schedule an appointment with you, how would they get in t uh, touch with you all? Absolutely. They can uh, contact our office. We do a very comprehensive screening for uh, pre-diabetes as well as for diabetes. If we find them, um, if find the patient has uh, pre-diabetes, we will um, guide them accordingly and create a, implement a treatment plan for them. Even if they don't have pre-diabetes, we can uh, help them modify the risk factors so they can actually prevent pre-diabetes. And your office is located in uh, at the Shanahan Healthcare Center of Morris Hospital. That's correct. And you're located at. Uh, 25259 Reed Street. Absolutely, that's correct. And if they want to call and schedule an appointment and, and have a pre-screening, uh, they can uh, reach you all at 815-467-0555. Sure, yeah, absolutely. They can call our office directly. If they have a problem getting hold of our office, they can even call Morris Hospital and they will guide them to uh, contact us. Dr. Chalisa, what would you like to remind people? What is the, what, what is the one thing um, that you would like to really impress upon people how important it is to have screenings to check to make sure you are not in, in the first stages of diabetes? I think routine health maintenance is the key. If you go for your routine checkup, if you do nothing but just go for your routine checkup, uh, you are uh, likely to find out if you're pre-diabetic and, and early intervention can be done. Thank you very much you. for joining us this morning. You've been listening to Business Spotlight, brought to you each Friday morning at this same time by Morris Hospital and Healthcare Centers. Our guest this morning was Dr. Nuzat Chalisa. I'm Leanne Oliver. You have a great day, everyone.